This part of the Mississippi River in St. Louis is usually busy with shipping activity, but not this season. The reason why is because the lack of rainfall has led to historically low water levels, and the impact of this can be seen all along these dried up river banks. Yeah, the river's lower than I've seen it since about 88. You gotta watch where you're going. You gotta watch running, you know, your bump bottom. A lot of places we can't run with the boat because of the rock piles uh, that are on the bottom, shallow spots, it bars up in different places. U.S. Army Corps engineers have been pumping water in from nearby tributaries so the river can stay open. But environmentalists and residents who depend on those water sources are pushing back on these efforts. Shipping companies say the debate about what to do is having a major impact on their business. If your river level is down to a certain level where it's below seven and a half or eight feet, you're not going to get your boats through there. You'll get barges through, but you've got to have boats to push them. So therefore, um, call it what you will, but it effectively shuts us down. Shipping firms add that the river's unreliability is giving their customers second thoughts about placing new orders. Officials say they will continue to keep the river at the federally required levels as long as possible, even though those waters are still too shallow for some shippers. Besides pumping in water, the Army Corps is also trying another method for keeping the river at a viable level. They blast out rocks from the riverbed that could bump against boats in shallow water. Given the current water forecast, the hydrological forecast that we received from NOAA, the Coast Guard is confident that we can maintain current river conditions for the next two weeks into mid-January. Beyond that point, without a crystal ball, it's quite difficult to predict. The truth is that at the end of the day, the river really just needs a lot of rain. There's not a whole lot they can do. I mean, you're dealing with Mother Nature. Out here, the companies, the Corps, Coast Guard, they can set all the rules they want, but nature has the final say on everything. That's all there is to it. For The Wall Street Journal, this is Caroline Porter in St. Louis, Missouri.